Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to use streaming on responses API by OpenAI. Recently, I have been doing projects on top of responses API cause it provides two great things. First, web search. Second, document search. So I have been building projects on top of these two things and i got to know that there is less documentation about how to stream information using this responses api and i figured it out by myself so i thought to share this with you so that you don't face the trouble i have faced so let's get started here i am on my visual studio code and the only thing i have done is i have set up env file which contains the open ai api key the first thing we will do is that we will create virtual environment using uv and the command goes uv venv this creates a virtual environment then i'll activate the virtual environment now i'm inside the virtual environment as you can see so what we will do is that we will use uv pip install open ai to communicate with the open ai client and then python hyphen dot env to read the environment variables and i'll hit enter you can see how fast it was though i'm sure these packages were in my cache here i'll create a main dot pi file the first thing we'll do is that we'll from dot env import load and find dot env then i'll from open ai import open ai client the process i'm going to show you here in this video will work for both open ai client and async open ai client okay so in case you are working with some asynchronous application this will work for you as well let's create our client first this will take api key so what i'll do is that i'll import os as well and here i'll say load and find my virtual environment and i'll say os dot get env and i'll pass open ai underscore api underscore key so now let's first make a simple call to make sure everything works I'll use GPT hyphen 4.1 uh, 4.1 uh, hyphen nano for this demonstration and then you know it will take messages messages will be a list I'll say role user and the con content will only be high so when we do this and uh, let's just uh, print the response let me save this and let's move to the terminal and let's see what we get okay we got the chat completion response now since we are not looking into this what i'll do is that i'll replace this with response dot create now this response dot create doesn't take messages it take input so i'll say input then let's test if this works well and see what comes back so you will see now instead of chat completion we got response it has bunch of things like uh, the id the instruction we did not provide any instructions but instructions metadata which model used uh, under the you know output 
it has response output message which contains you know different things then down here we will have uses as well so this is what looks uh, when you call response dot create now let's pass most awaited thing stream equals to true now when you do that you know you will see that this variable response is now stream of response stream events so what i'll do is that for event in response print event let's first print the events and then look into uh, for the details so you can see here uh, the first event was response created then the second event response in progress then the third event response output item added then there are a bunch of text delta events after that there is a text done event and finally we have response completed event so if we look further here into the documentation of open ai apis obviously there is a responses api and there are a couple of quick start guides but if you look down here under streaming you'll see there are a bunch of different things so this is first created so when an event or response basically or your request is accepted you will receive this information and you can see it here this is response created event it has you know response id and bunch of stuff and if you look here you will see all the things here so all the possible things like response created then in process what you will receive then after completed in case of failed request in case of you know incomplete request what you will receive then you know there are bunch of output items when output items some something is added into that when it is done uh, then you know there are con content parts as well okay so you can see all the things that you probably can receive when this thing is uh, called so let's look further into this and now if you put a dot here you will see bunch of things like uh, response then uh, annotation annotation index argument score and things like that but if you write type you will see the type of response you received so when i go here and when i hit enter you will see that this kind of uh, items you will receive item created in progress and things like that so this is this part is our streaming part uh, this part where you know we can extract the tokens used at the final output as well so let's look into that so what i'll do is that i'll say if event dot type equals to response dot uh, output item text delta so when the output item is text delta that means the streaming part what i want to do is that i want to print the event dot delta let's say end with empty string also let's say uh, else if the event dot type equals to response completed then what i want to do is that first print empty string or let's say print my bad new line uh, then i want to print 
event now if you see here there are only few things a uh, type then uh, um, text i guess not text but type and okay so the thing i'm looking here is response so there is this event dot response now when you click that you will see all the things so this uh, response can have id this response can have output text which is the final text uh, this event dot response dot uh, uses can have the uses as well so the input tokens then the output tokens and then the total tokens also if you see here and uh, um, let's say alif event dot type equals to if you look here under the yeah so you see here these four things oh my bad So there is this four things about file search, file search searching, file search in progress and file search completed. So if you, you know, go here and uh, see the responses API, it has now, yeah, file search. So it has file search now. And uh, if I go here, yeah, so we can see the better part. So it says that, you know, if you want to search the files, you already have uploaded on OpenAI and a vector store created on the OpenAI platform itself. You can provide the vector store ID and, you know, we will do all the things of chunking and all the retrieval methods and stuff like that. And we will most probably get you the best result for your query. So in case you are using the file search then you know you can um, use this to notify what is what means happening there then there is a the same way there is web search call completed in progress and searching part though they have not provided i guess i'm not sure under file search there is a possibility to get the data retrieve in the uh, response but in web search there is no facility i guess or i'm not sure to get the things retrieved but let's see if it is possible just to make sure yeah there is a possibility to get yeah so i guess under output parts you can get this thing what uh, was search searched so this way you can you know uh, get different things from the OpenAI API itself and let's you know run this code to see if this works or not yeah you can see this was the streaming part then this was a complete text and these are the input output and total tokens itself so I hope you know this gives you a better understanding about uh, responses api and particularly streaming now let's look into you know uh, asynchronous part of the same thing so what i'll do is that i'll convert this into asynchronous part i'll say def async def main so this is now my asynchronous function and i'll move everything Now, when you convert that into asynchronous function, you need to do two things. First, you either, you know, instead of using this, you can use async open AI that works the same way. And when you do that, you need to await here and you need to put async here. And I'll say 
import async io and then i'll say if um, underscore underscore name equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then async io dot run and the main equals to my main function so this also works the same way but asynchronously yeah you can see this so basically this thing goes into a code routine so i hope you know this gives you better understanding about this newly released responses api and now you understand how the streaming works and what different properties you get when you use this streaming and i hope you and i hope that you are now able to use it in your project as well and if you do so please let me know in the comment section also in case you face any issue please let me know in the comment section i'll surely get back to you finally if you like the work i put on my youtube channel please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching enjoy the life feel the music peace